we're going to do tum the tumbling blocks. You're going to need a total of four colors. I've you, I'm choosing purple, lavender, black, and white. Okay? What you have to do is you have to prep some um, bobbins. Now, what I like using for bobbins is this is foam cord, and I've just cut it into two by four inches with slits at either end. Now, if you don't have one of those, you can just take this, if this is just a toilet paper roll, and cut it into a slot, a shape similar to that, and cut a slot in each half. Okay? Now, you're going to need one bobbin for each area of color. Okay? So, now if you don't have a um, foam cord, cardboard, roll of toilet paper, you can do the butterfly bobbin. Which what that is, you hold your hand out, hold the, th the thread in the palm of your hand so it kind of dangles. Open up your fingers and just wrap like a figure eight. You want it to cross in the center. And you want to put as much as you can, well, as much as you think you're going to need at first. Okay, and I'm going to need a row of black to start with. Then I'm going to need a, a purple, a black, well, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, possibly fifteen. Ha um, fifteen bobbins of yarn. I'll need one, two, three of one color, two of another color three of a third color, and one, two, three, four, five of black. And black I'm using is my border. Okay, now you got that wrapped around your fingers. Pull it out just a little bit so you can grab onto it. Because you're going to take it off your fingers now. You're going to squish, hold together where it crosses. And keeping it together, you're going to wrap the tail around. Now, you're doing it this way so that you can, it can be like a pull skein. And then just tuck that end in there. And this way you can just pull this end out. Okay? So, prep up. You can go at least three, three bobbins of each color to start with. And I'll be back when I get those done. The foam cord. Hook it into the end and just fill the foam cord up. Just wrap it around and around. Then when you have, have it as full as you want it, Hook it into it again, and then cut a length of it. Now if you're using a roll of toilet paper, I've already cut my slits in it. And you're just going to wrap it around this. Now I'm kind of having it fall on top of my fingers, so. And 
you want to get as quite a bit on there as much as you dare which I'm going to leave it at that and then put your slit in because I wrapped up and around my slit so and this you want to go across all of it because you want to stick it through there okay and cut your length Okay, now I've got three per three dark purple, and I'm going to wrap up the rest. I'll be back. I'm going to be doing a square, 52 stitches by seven, 73 rows, okay? You will need to have some stitch markers, and I use, when I can locate them, just some um, earrings. Okay. Now you can also use a piece of yarn or a drapery hook, which is I use for my weight. You can use that. Choice is yours. Okay, what you're going to do, you're going to cast on with the black 52 stitches. Okay, and I'll be back after that. 51 cast on and I have my the bed of my machine and the needles each numbered from 1 to I think 160 it makes it easier when I do the intarsia yeah okay, so I have my one row of black and I'm picking up any drop stitches and it's no real biggie if you get a drop stitch, you just fix it. And hang them back on the machine. And re-stitch it. That's all you need to do. Make sure everything else is stitched. Okay, now, this is where you're going to have to mark some rows. Okay, go to your first row of your chart. Start at whichever side you want. And you want to hang the marker. And then in this case, it's at 29, so it's 20, and you want it right below the stitch. Okay. Now, if you're using a piece of yarn, you want a long piece. I want you want a long piece. Okay. Take your latch hook. And the next change is, well, I've got to change the next stitch, the next stitch, then the next stitch. So I'm not going to really worry about those. So I'm going to go to the next block of colors, which is block 34, which is right here. So I'm going to go right below that stitch. And I want to leave a long tail. But I want to be able to see it, okay? So I just attach the yarn below, and then I take another piece. You can use any scrap yarn you got, and then now this is at the end of the same block, which is block 48, which is right. Here and again, I'm going right below it and I'm attaching the yarn to it. And that one's a little bit long, but so I can, no biggie, I'll just, I just need it long enough so I can see it underneath the carriage. Okay, okay, and the next block, major block I need is at row 54, which is right here. Ok, 
Okay, and the next major block is 68 in the last three or individuals. Okay, so 68. That way I can see where my color changes are going to be. Okay, now I need one stitch of black, which I'm going to leave that attached to black, and that's going to run up the side. So I'm going to bring this out. Now this is going to get tricky, okay? And then I want my light purple. Now, when you're hanging it, when you're getting ready to set the next color, you don't have to worry too much about it crossing just yet, but when you come back the other way, you're going to need to deal with it then. Okay, so you want to come down between, you only want one stitch stitched in the purple, and coming across, and you only want, now this, in this case, we're going to go to 28, which was, at, Now I'm just letting it hang. Now this is going to come out of the carriage. Once you get it set up, it will be a lot easier. Okay, and one of white. One of black. I'm just sticking it under the one needle. And the light purple again. And this one's going to go into this one, which is block 48. And what I'm doing, I've got my marker down here, and I'm stomping right over the top of it. So you can bring it right up if you want to, if you don't want to. 
okay then I'm bringing this one because I'm finished with it make sure it catches that one needle and bring in the next color which is one of black some more black. No biggie. I'll just go from the other end. Find the end first. And I'll pull off the length of it. Just make a butterfly. With a good amount of yarn on it. And then cut a length of it. Tuck the yarn under and snug it. Try not to lose. Yeah. You don't want to lose the end like I did. Yeah, there we go. And just pull it out. And I'm going to hang it on one needle. Because it's only one stitch. Move the carriage down a little bit. And this is... Fifty-one. So I need one of white. Just move it down one and one of black again. Pull off a length of it. And then slip it. And wrap it up into a butterfly. Well, if you don't cut enough at the beginning, it's not a real big deal. You just take the time and make a butterfly or wrap it onto a foam cord or a piece of cardboard. I've even wrapped it onto a um, cut-up credit card or a cut-up plastic card. It's actually different. Not a credit card, but... And wrap it around and tuck it in. Okay, and then I want it on one stitch. So up, go down over. Make sure it catches on one needle. One needle only. And you want enough end there. Okay. And now I want the light purple again.
with what I'm doing is I'm just making sure I can pull it up even straight. And down. And then I need a black again. You, like I said, you need a a small skein of yarn for each color that you're going to do. And I'll be back. 